Hello, this is Deborah Tripathi, Editor-in-Chief of Pure Magazine, coming to you from San Antonio. And I wanted to report to you today on an interesting de development that has received a lot of press. And this is the use of the Oncotype Recurrent Score in ductal carcinoma in situ. Now, ductal carcinoma in situ, also known as pre-invasive breast cancer or pre-cancer, uh, is being picked up more and more because uh, we can see these on mammograms more easily. Uh, but there's a big dilemma on how to treat them. These cancers, or precancers, I should say, almost never spread, and people generally do not die of this. But it can recur in the breast after surgery, and sometimes it can recur as invasive cancer, which does have the capacity to spread. So historically, we've always approached this very carefully. When we diagnose DCIS, we generally operate, do a lumpectomy, or sometimes we have to do a mastectomy. Now, if possible, of course, we, we do a lumpectomy, and we know radiation can lower the risk of recurrence, and tamoxifen can, can sometimes lower the risk of recurrence as well. But there has been a big concern that we over-treat DCIS. We, we probably do unnecessary surgery, or we do radiation at a, uh, in, in a situation where we're really not lowering the risk of recurrence that much. And so we would really like to understand which of the DCIS lesions are more dangerous than others. So in this age of molecular profiling, where we can look at multiple genes and develop a fingerprint or a profile that tells us which are the more dangerous ones, um, this, of course, now is moving into the area of DCIS. So by way of background, Oncotype is a molecular tool that looks at 21 different genes. 16 of these are actually used to classify the tumor according to different risks. And it's been shown that in the case of invasive cancer, it can predict who's going to develop a distant recurrence of metastasis uh, over time. And in patients who are, on, uh, who are going to be taking hormonal therapy in particular, the benefits of chemotherapy on top of that may be very small or may be quite large. And Oncotype can help determine whether it's on the very low side where we can forego chemotherapy or on the higher side. So the Oncotype DX assay was modified somewhat to be used in DCIS to predict who would have a higher chance of local recurrence within the breast, not of spread because the risk of spread is extremely low anyway. So the modified Oncotype test was looked at in a large clinical trial from patients who had DCIS on the lower risk side and were not treated with radiation. And information from this trial was used to uh, validate the uh, modified score and did in fact show that it was better than the size of the tumor or the grade of the tumor or other characteristics in telling us who would have a local recurrence. Uh, people that had very low uh, recurrence scores had a very low risk of local recurrence and maybe could be spared uh, either a complete mastectomy or radiation. Now there's been some controversy about this presentation. Some of the uh, audience members that questioned the speaker were asking if this was truly a validative test because after all the score was modified and normally what we like to do is not only test it in one group of patients but go to another large group of patients and make sure that the same results are seen. So there is some debate as to whether this is ready to be used. Uh, Genomic Health, the company that makes Oncotype, is planning to uh, get this out into the marketplace and I think that more experience and more studies are going to help us really refine uh, where to use this. But the hope of course is that we don't have to over treat DCIS as much as we do. We don't have to do more aggressive surgery or more aggressive radiation when the risk of uh, this is going to be so low that we can just leave it alone.